Hello, I'm delighted to be able to share the PRISM study findings with you. Our clinical trial explored the effects of progesterone treatment to prevent miscarriages in women with early pregnancy bleeding. More than 4,000 patients from across 48 hospitals in the UK took part in this trial. The intervention was vaginal micronized progesterone eutrogestan, 400 milligrams taken twice daily from when the bleeding started to until 16 weeks of pregnancy. What did we find? The live birth rate in the progesterone group was 75% compared with 72% in the placebo group. We had 54 extra babies in the progesterone group. Now, we had a pre-specified hypothesis that progesterone effects may be better in women with increasing numbers of previous miscarriages. The reason is that an increasing number of previous miscarriages is linked to an increasing risk of a euploid miscarriage. It is such euploid miscarriages that could be rescued by a treatment like progesterone. Was there a subgroup effect according to the number of previous miscarriages? If there were no previous miscarriages, progesterone treatment was not associated with any increase in live births. However, in women who had one or two previous miscarriages, if they are bleeding in the current pregnancy, progesterone was associated with a 4% increase in live births. And in women with three or more previous miscarriages and current pregnancy bleeding, there was a 15% increase in live birth. No safety concerns were identified from progesterone treatment. The question is, of course, what should we do in clinical practice? Our recommendation is that if a patient with no previous miscarriages bleeds in early pregnancy, we will recommend supportive care. However, if a patient with one or more previous miscarriages bleeds in early pregnancy, we would recommend vaginal progesterone treatment with eutrogestan 400 mg twice daily from presentation to 16 weeks of pregnancy, in addition to supportive care. This trial was only possible because of the commitment of hundreds of research nurses across the UK and thousands of selfless women who took part in this trial. Thank you.